Hi, Sai, it's Gels TV. It's a wee video today, guys. We're at the Robert Mulholland Memorial. It's a parade and a, a remembrance day. It's for a, a young member of the Ibrox family who passed away in the Ibrox disaster in 1971. The guy that got the ball rolling was a good pal of mine, Joe Burke. Joe, quickly, what was the story behind it? Well, Simon, the story is quite simple. Um, when I, I came back to the UK permanently, um, and then you know, I got to see a few things, and one of the things I seen was uh, tributes getting done uh, by two pals of mine, or who became friends of mine, uh, for the Mark Inch boys that died. Yeah. Uh, and I watched that closely uh, through Follow Follow. Uh, I subsequently then was seeing things done by the boy Colin um, for yeah. doing the tribute to Margaret Ferguson. Uh, and I actually went to Margaret's uh, Memorial Day. Yeah. Um, and I, I came away from it and I thought to myself, could I do anything? How hard would it be? So I'd done a wee bit of research and as a boy for the drum myself, even although I moved away a few years ago, uh, I came across Robert's name. And instantly he was the guy that I, had to I be done. I took the reaction. Absolutely. Um, so I'd done a wee bit of research and the funny thing about it is I, is I went on an ancestral website uh, and I banged in the details that I knew of Robert uh, and I got a few hits, but I couldn't figure out why I was getting these hits at four o'clock in the morning. It turned out it was a family member from Australia, Hi. who subsequently put me on to a guy called Jimmy, who stays in Old Patrick, who then put me on to another family member, small a, world, a ve very small side, uh, and the family member turned out to be uh, the wife of Robert's brother, a guy called Mo, who unfortunately had sadly passed away at this stage. Uh, so I traced. Uh, Rona, uh, Mal's wife, and she put me on to the other brother um, of Robert and I sent him an email uh, asking, tell him what I wanted today and would it be okay because you've got to get the, the planning, you know, make sure the family's that, happy with it, you know. So, and he, so, so what did you do exactly? I, I sent him, I, I just sent him an email telling him, explaining him who I was and what I wanted to try and do uh, to remember Robert and yep. put a permanent a tribute. Way. Yeah. Uh, and he gave me the, the okay, and so for the end on, um, uh, I traced the whole family within a fortnight, and I started the fundraising uh, largely through, and thanks to Big Mark, um, yeah. follow, 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 follow. Yeah. and the money just came well, rolling in. Uh, so the first thing I did was a, a bench uh, in White Inch, because Robert was actually born in Partick. Right. Before he moved up to Drumchapel. So, so for anybody that's no local for Glasgow, White Inch is right, right beside there, isn't it? Yeah, White Inch is basically, you know, obviously the big parks there, Victoria Park, uh, in between, well, near a party, but in between party and Drumchapel. Yeah. And I put the bench in, you know, went through the council, got the bench, uh, and the bench went in, and I, I had money left, and I came up and had a look at where Robert actually stayed, and I thought, you know, what else could I do? And, you know, Si, I, I, I know you won't thank me for this, but uh, I spoke to yourself and you put me in touch with the stonemason. That's right, And aye. the boy done the stone for me, and then we'd we, we done the stone. And ah, he's a boy knows, that's right. I, and it, it really, that, that, that's really the crux of the story, you know, yep. uh, how it came about. So, for your point of view, obviously, you're not one thanks, no, I get that, I don't know you well enough for it, but uh, when you look back all these years and you see the parade today and the remembrance and the act of remembrance and everything else, you must be proud. I am proud, uh, Simon, but I'm actually, I'm, I'm humble's probably the, the word I'm looking for, you know, um, and I'll tell you why, you know, that, that there's hundreds and hundreds of people to thank for this, Simon, uh, follow, follow, the, Big Dingwall, the family. yourself, yeah. the family, you know, the two boys who done the Mark Inch, uh, who have suddenly became very good friends of mine, I leaned on them a lot for advice, yeah. um, and you know, and obviously everybody that put their hand in their pocket uh, to give me the money to ensure that this boy's memory will, will, will live on, you know, up in Drumchapel, yeah. you know. So just to finish it off, uh, you've done it, you've, you've, you've accomplished that, but when you, when you look at the crowds a day, uh, and we've done a wee video and over 10,000 people watched it in half an hour, so you've done it. Uh, yeah, um, you know, say si, and... You know, thanks to people like yourselves, that, you know, the the, the the Gers TV and the radio and, and all the other stuff, you know, it can only surely get bigger. Please have so Absolutely. You know, Si, and you know, if you don't mind me saying this, mate, what I would, I would like to say is, you know, there's been 17 individual tributes done to people that have died at the yeah, Ibrox yeah, disaster. Yeah. 
I would love to see the 66 and indeed more, you know, the two boys that lost their lives 10 years before it, yeah. um, be remembered in such a way. Um, so what I would say is if anybody is thinking about it, do it. The help's there. You won't be let down. Yeah. The Rangers family and indeed your local communities will pull through for you in the end. So don't have any fear. I had fear. I don't know why I had the fear because thanks to the Rangers people, it's done. And you know, sorry Simon, just to finish off, Big Stephen yeah. that done that does it. He picked this up in 2012 and, carried it and it's kept it going and it's absolutely fantastic what that big guy does along with his association and everybody else uh, for Drum Chapel and it's a big thanks to him and the community of Drum Chapel that Robert will live on in the memory of everybody that knew him or indeed the Rangers family. Fantastic and much respect for doing all that Joe. Thanks Cheers. very much Simon, thank you. Cheers. Stephen, where did you get involved? Uh, as, as, as we said up at the monument, Joe laid the foundations and kind of handed the baton out to myself. I got the boys together, I said, what do you think? No problem. Pulled some money together out of my own pockets, believe it or not, Si, and it just snowballed for there. And we invited the family and Pipers and everything the first day we done it. I think it was 2011, eight years or something we've been doing it now. And it just snowballed for there, Si. But no, absolutely tickled pink. And absolutely, there's no greater honour doing it for a 16-year-old bear that never came in with a match. Of course, and the, and the locals for the drum chap walking, I've seen them in the streets and that watching, eh, and they, they're happy to celebrate it and watch it. Uh, it must be like for the band's point of view, it's always it's always good when you get a bit of good publicity for a change, and I, I thought the band was fantastic today, but you must be proud of that. Oh, 110%, Sai. We got a wee bit of bad publicity there the last couple of weeks, I, I don't really want to get into that, but... But the good publicity uh, the, the, the good, I mean, as I said, that very day we gave £100, we donated £100 to the homeless. It's the good things you don't hear about. You always hear about the silly wee mistakes and things yeah. like that. But no, we're a proud band. We're proud of our place, where we come from. We're proud of the Orange District that we march in. And uh, I'm tickled pink with everything we're doing. I'm quite happy, Si. Yeah. I mean, as I said, for, for years on the show, I'm, I'm proud of, to be an Orangeman. And uh, people love the bad news. They never, they never want to project the good news. And that's one of the things that the GLTV is always going to do. You know, we'll support people when they do the good stuff. And we'll always be proud to have friends like yourself. From your point of view, do you think this is going to continue for the next 10 years? Uh, see, I, I hope I can pass the baton on to my son. I, I really do. I really, for years to years to come, we'll be getting up there to remember that boy. We'll always remember Robert Mulholland and the 66 people that passed away. Not just Robert, the yeah. 66 of them. We'll always, to our last breath here in drum chat, we'll always remember the people. And as I say, Dave, there's a lot of people who uh, thank you today, but just personally, the TV for what you have done and the, and the locals in the area, fantastic and well done. Thanks very much. Cheers. Sir. Thank you.